Okay guys, hey, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial, part of our uh, ongoing tutorial series that goes parallel with our project series. So in this tutorial, it's going to be a quick one. Um, today we're just going to uh, install the Ability System plugin and just confirm that it is installed correctly. It's a pretty straightforward thing. It has simplified documentation. It doesn't take much. But we're going to do it together anyways, just so we have a tutorial for it. Uh, so just to get started, I'm going to create a new project uh, just from scratch, and I'm using 4.23.1 or something like that. Uh, and I'm going to make just a C++ project, and we're just going to do third person. And I'm just going to make a new folder, call it test, and we're going to name our project test. And we're going to create this project, and it should open us up into Visual Studio once it's ready. Uh, so in the meantime, while we're waiting, just again, uh, I want to plug the uh, Discord channel or Discord server that we have for this YouTube channel and for this tutorial series and the project series. Uh, feel free to join the Discord server. There's a bunch of different sub-channels for every aspect of game development that I think is important. we got uh, channels for 2D art, 3D art, programming, uh, blueprint scripting, audio, uh, things like that. Uh, so, so feel free to join the server, ask questions, engage, and we'll probably have deeper conversations about the project in there. So just as a quick plug on that. Um, and now our project is open. Uh, so we have both Visual Studio and the actual Unreal Engine open. So the easiest thing it's at, well, doing plugins, it depends on the plugin really, but for the gameplay ability system plugin, it's super simple. You just go to edit, go to plugins, and we just got to type in ability. So we find the abil gameplay abilities plugin. Uh, it's in the beta version, so whenever something's in the beta version, it kind of warns you, hey, things could change, uh, and it might break things in the future, but don't be too concerned about that right now. So all we have to do is say enabled. And the plugin gameplay abilities, like I said, is a beta version. It might be unstable. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we are. And then it says Unreal Editor must be restarted for the plugin to change to take effect. So we're going to restart it, but it does take more than just the restart. Um, but we do want to just restart the editor because it kind of, you know, it asks nicely. So we're going to do it anyway. Uh, but we can close the editor again once it restarts. And I'm going to open up here some gameplay abilities and some documentation from Epic. I'm going to link this in the description. Uh, it basically tells us what we have to do uh, to get the gameplay ability system working. So um, it's really, 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 really easy. Uh, so basically the information's here. We just got to find our build.cs file and include additional uh, dependency module names here. Uh, so first let's find that in Visual Studio. So I believe if we go under our games and then the project name here, it's test. There's a source folder, and then there is a no, there's a, another test folder within source, and then we have test.build.cs. So this will be named whatever you named your project, .build.cs. So let's double click, open it up in Visual Studio, and here we have our public dependency module names. So all we really have to do, uh, you could copy this whole thing, but it really just needs the first three. So gameplay abilities, gameplay tags, and gameplay tasks. So we just copy that and then add it in, add a comma, and there we go. So now what we have to do uh, is uh, rebuild. So let me just make sure everything's closed that I want to have closed. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, I'm going to do clean, and then I'm going to right click on our test solution or whatever your project name is and just do rebuild. And it should have a couple of uh, headers uh, I don't know if headers is the right word, but things to rebuild. So it shouldn't take very long. It has 11, so it should take about 10 seconds or something like that. It depends on how fast your machine is. But pretty much when we have this done, once the editor opens up again, uh, when this is all said and done, we should have the gameplay ability system ready to go. Uh, okay, so it rebuild. Um, don't think it's going to start the editor, so let me just control F5, build it, and open it up. It should take a second. 
And pretty much all you have to do in order to test if you did this correctly is to make sure you have the ability to make uh, an actual gameplay ability actor or blueprint. So we have our editor open again. Let's just go into content browser. We don't really have to make a folder for this. It's just a test. We can right click and then under here we have something called gameplay and we have gameplay ability blueprint. And then open it up, make it a gameplay ability, say okay, and then there you go. You have an actual gameplay ability. So now you know you did this correctly. You can also verify by right clicking, going to blueprint class. You could just type in like gameplay. Whoops, caps lock is on, gameplay. So you have gameplay target actor, gameplay ability target actor radius. You have all these different gameplay effects and things like that. That's all included within the gameplay ability system. And also, just to be doubly sure if you really want to, uh, you can go into, I believe it's under Engine, Unreal Engine 4, Plugins, and then Runtime, Gameplay Abilities, Source, Gameplay Abilities, Private, and you have all the C++ files here. Uh, you can see that they're all included. You have all the .h files. And if you want to be super sure as well on the code side, you could just go to your project solution here. And under test and source and test here, you can go to your character, like test.cpp. And you could just uh, try to include something from the gameplay ability system. So just for example, ability system log.h. So we could just do hashtag include ability system log.h. And what I've, I'm not sure how to get rid of this error, but for me, it tells me I can't open that source file, but if we just control F5, it should build successfully. So we'll do the test here. But if it does build successfully, we know you're able to include that and everything's kosher, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Okay, so our build was successful and we're seeing the editor open. So we'll let it open one more time. And there you go. So we confirmed that we got it working. So just to recap what you have to do, you have to just open up your project, whether it be a new project or an existing project that you have. You go to edit and then plugins, you go to gameplay abilities. And just as a heads up, I didn't mention this, there's the gameplay tags editor. That automatically gets enabled by default. I think if you have gameplay abilities enabled, this is enabled, but I think gameplay tags editor is also just by default. Also, I'm kind of going all over the place, but another thing to check, you go to window and you have gameplay queue editor. This is very important. So when you make a gameplay queue, you want to use this editor. This lets you know that you also installed that correctly. Uh, so just going back again, you go to plugins, gameplay, you enable gameplay abilities. It'll tell you that it's a beta version and that it's it could be unstable and that if you really want to do it, You'll say yes, and then the editor will request that it be restarted. Then you restart the editor, and then once it's done, you can close out of it again. And then all you have to do from there is go to Visual Studio or whichever uh, IDE you're using, and you go to uh, your project solution here. So mine's named test. You go to source, then under your test folder or your project name folder, you'll find test.build.cs. And all you have to do is add the following tags, gameplay abilities, gameplay tags, and gameplay tasks to the array uh, for public dependency module names. And that information can be found at this URL. It will be in the description. It just basically copy this line into your build.cs and then do uh, a full rebuild just to ensure everything gets compiled correctly. So you just right click rebuild, or you can do that here as well, rebuild, and it should be successful. Once it's successful, you can go into the editor. Let me just open it up again. Once it builds successfully, uh, you'll be able to have the gameplay section available when you right click in the content browser, but you should also see it under options for blueprint classes. So content browser, right click, gameplay, gameplay ability blueprint, or blueprint class, gameplay, and you'll have all these options like gameplay cues, gameplay effects, calculation effects, data, all these different things. And then from there, you can use the gameplay ability system as you see fit. 
Um, there are some good tutorials out there about how to use the gameplay ability system. I'll, I'll be making my own videos as my project goes along, uh, which won't be for a little while just because I'm doing some back-end stuff first before actually jumping into the project, but eventually tutorials will come. Um, but this is how you enable the ability system plugin, and from there you could do whatever you would like to do with it. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope this was useful. Uh, remember, join the Discord server. Uh, link will be in the description. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. All the links will be in the description as well. Make sure you like and subscribe. Ask any questions you have, either as a comment or in the Q&A Discord channel on our Discord server. I'll be more than happy to answer anything you have. Uh, feel free to make suggestions for tutorials in the future as well. Uh, I definitely want to keep an ear out open for suggestions for what you guys want to learn. Uh, so I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.